everyone. So first of all, a belated Happy Children in Need. It was Children in Need last Friday. Um, and I thought I was going to do a video on the Friday, you know, say Happy Children in Need. I hope you're all donating and having a good day. But then I thought, no, I'll wait until today um, to post this video and make it. And I'll talk about the TV highlights because, of course, that fits in with the channel. Every year I look forward to Children in Need. It is absolutely my, you know, the one thing I look forward to most every year, apart from the Doctor Who Christmas episode on Christmas Day. Um, but I really do love it. I've never been let down by Children in Need. I think it is absolutely fantastic. Um, so just before I get in with this, I just want to show you a few little things first of all. I've got my pussy keyring. I also have the um, the six pound bear, but I don't have it with me. Um, and I also got this, which is a trolley keyring. I collect keyrings, so they're quite special. And yeah, my pussy pack. Um, the stickers in this, if I can just show you quickly, are absolutely adorable. Um, unfortunately there was no Doctor Who ones this year. Last year there was a Pudsy Bear next to the TARDIS, but never mind. Oh, and I also have my Pudsy ears. Um, my mum was like, why don't you get the Blush Bear ears? And I was like, no, I don't like Blush Bear. I just think it ruins the whole thing. But never mind. Okay, so the TV. I started off with Cheryl doing a Promise This performance, um, which is brilliant. You guys know I love Cheryl Cole, so if I happen, to have her open in the show was incredible. Um, then we had a look in with the Harry Potter stars and they were also in it a little bit later as well. Um, I'm a huge fan of Harry Potter so that too was fantastic. Um, and then we had um, Chris Evans doing the one show challenge when he had to clean the, um, the, the windows of I think it was Canary Wharf. And I was like, this just keeps getting better and better. That was a performance from Westlife and that was amazing. I love the song they sang and I really like Westlife as well. So um, that was entertaining. There was a lot of really good music. Um, Kylie, their performance, the same, well, the same song she sang on the X Factor, obviously her latest single, um, which I love as well. Um, I'm looking this way, by the way, because I've made notes because the list is huge. Um, oh yes, we had the Doctor Who Christmas episode clip. I was so so excited. I could not wait for that clip. Then we saw it, and I was like, oh okay. I'm not going to say it looks rubbish, but for me, the clips, the previews, never do the episodes justice. Um, so I think. We, we have to wait and see what happens. Um, also, the two little boys went and had a, a tea party with um, with the Doctor and Amy, with Matt and Karen in the TARDIS. I was, of course, a tiny bit jealous. I would have loved to have had a tea party with Matt, Matt and Karen. <laughs> um, and, of course, they had Jammy Dodgers, which is super sweet. And when Matt put the entire Jammy Dodger in his mouth, I was like, oh, yeah. Um, also, Rochelle Wiseman did Strictly Come Dancing. I'm not the biggest fan of Strictly, but that was fun to watch. Um, also, the Saturday's performance was fun to watch and enjoyable. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of the Saturdays. Um, I don't really care about them that much. But I, I, I seem to enjoy their performance. It's the same with JLS and their official um, Children in Need single. That was good to watch, but I wouldn't go out and buy it. Um, then we have the thing that we were waiting for most of all. Will you go away? Okay, that's nice. Sorry about that, my mother decided to come in and show me the hamster. She had the hamster in her hands. I'm like, that's... <laughs> she just shouted, he's asleep. She's walking around with a sleeping hamster in her hands. That's probably the highlight of my day. Anyway, yes, so the one thing that everybody was looking forward to the most was East Street, which is, of course, the, when EastEnders met Coronation Street. So fans will absolutely love, love, love this if they haven't seen it, which I think they would have done by now. But every soap fan, every Cory fan, any Stenders fan was so excited for this. And I really was ecstatic. I was like, oh my god, they're going to meet! Because I've always said that they have to go and meet. And they did. Um, so what happened is, um, Walford and um, Weatherfield were, were going to be twinned. So uh, I think it was four or five people from Cory went to Emmerdale, um, Stenders even, and the same amount went from EastEnders to Corrie and they sort of paired the characters up a bit so there was a bit where um, Christian went over to um, the Rovers and he was with Sean of course the Soap's two central gay characters um, so it was nice to see the, sort of, the similarities but the differences between the two um, Liz McDonald was behind the bar in the Queen Vic with Kat Slater um, there was a scene with Jane, Jane in, in the Corrie calf which was kind of weird because obviously I'm used to seeing her in um, Kathy's calf um, there was a sort of scene with Sunita and Zainab, which I thought was really quite sweet. Sort of the fighting between the two of them. Um, obviously, Sunita's quite a likable character. Zainab is a likable but hated character at the same time. So it was, it was weird. 
Um, then there was the sort of the bitch off between Gail and Denise over who had the most insane husband. Um, I prefer Denise to Gail. I'm not a massive fan of Gail. Helen Worth as an actress I like, but Gail as a character I don't really like her. So I thought, you know, Denise had the points there. Um, and also Shane Ritchie um, as Alfie sang um, with Kim Marsh. Um, you know, the one that I want, the Grease song. And I thought that was lovely because Shane obviously used to play Danny Zuko in the West End. Was it the West End or just there? I think it was the West End. Shane used to play Danny Zuko anyway. So it was really lovely. It must have been nice for him to go back and sing those songs. Um, and obviously it was really good. The ending of it I thought was quite nice. The fact that there was the identical charms on Kat and Liz's bracelets. Um, and the fact where Kat turns around and goes, you ain't my mother. And, so, and um, Liz goes, oh yes I am. Um, obviously I wish she'd screamed it out like um, Kat had done to Zoe all those years ago, but yeah. So East Street was a huge success. I don't know any soap fan who did not like it. Um, I loved, loved, loved it. I wish that Corrie and EastEnders would mingle more often, you know, just like one of them popping up in the other street just randomly here and there. That would be quite nice, but never mind. Um, John Barrowman, um, I, I was getting quite panicky actually because Every year John Barman performs and I love it and I look forward to it and I absolutely love it. Last year he sang in his boxer shorts I was like, oh, wow. Um, but this year um, we only got to see him when he was doing a little bit in Glasgow when he was introducing Alexandra Burke and he had on a spotty white suit. Well, a white suit with like, the polka dots on it. Um, all glittery and sparkly and I, my heart melted. I love it. Um, yeah, um, so that was absolutely fantastic. We also had the um, Loose Women performance where Denise, Carol, Andrea, Zoe and Sherry sang um, the, the Promise by Girls Aloud. Absolutely fantastic. Very impressed with Andrea. I didn't know... She can sing. Andrea is a, quite a really good singer. She can hold a tune. She can hold a note. Obviously Zoe is a professional singer in the lot, so it's needless to say that she can sing. Um, Denise was really good. Um, Carol and Sherry were really sweet, I'll say that. Um, but yeah, I was really impressed by Andrea. They all looked absolutely fantastic. Um, brilliant performance, and I wish they'd do more like that. Um, and the last thing is Come Down With The Dragons. I do love Dragons Den. So it was really nice to sort of watch that. It was a bit long. It was like 13 minutes or something. Um, but it was, worth, it, was, it was worth sitting through. It was really quite enjoyable. And the whole thing with the dragon smoke and that was kind of weird. Um, but a really nice touch. Um, so in all, Children in Need 2010 was probably the best year, I think. Definitely the best year. Every feature in it I basically loved. The newsreaders were great as well. Um, but for me, the highlight was East Street. And second to that, the bit with Matt and Karen. Um, but yeah, so that's my thoughts on um, this year. I didn't actually do any fundraising this year. I normally do every year. But this year I didn't. Um, next year I definitely will be. Um, but obviously more about that near other time. Um, but please feel free to leave comments and things and let me know your thoughts on Children in Need this year and also anything you did. I'd like to know if you raised any money and things. Um, but please feel free to leave comments and things and I will see you next time. Bye guys!